Lacey and I had to score between 1 and 10 in five categories. They include comfort, interior design, driving characteristics, build quality, and overall appeal. In addition, we came up with a list of 10 safety and comfort features we were looking for. If the car didn't have a feature, it lost a point. We also gave one point for every point J.D. Power & Associates gives for initial quality scores. This could add an additional five points. So, 100 possible points from Lacey and I, 10 for features, and five for quality scores for a total of 115 potential points. All right, here we go. We're gonna give you our choices from 10 to number one. Worst to first, Lacey. In 10th place with 63 points, the Dodge Avenger. In ninth place with 74 points, the Kia Magentis. And in eighth place with 83 points, the Ford Fusion. And number seven with 90 points, the Toyota Camry. The next three cars, six, five, and four, we'll call it tied for fourth, are only six points behind the number one winner. So all of these cars are very close. So tied for fourth place with 93 points, the Hyundai Sonata, the Volkswagen Passat, and the Subaru Legacy. In third place, just two points behind the winner with 97 points, the Nissan Altima. And in second place, just one point behind the winner with 98 points is the Chevy Malibu. Driving television's choice for the best mid-sized car in Canada with 99 points, number one, the Honda Accord. Well done, Honda. Now, Lacey and I each had individual scores for all of these cars. If you want to go and have a look at how each one of them broke down, you can view them online at drivingtelevision.com. We should also point out that we didn't factor price into the equation, and the Malibu was actually one of the least expensive vehicles in the comparison, and yet it was only one point away from the Honda Accord. So if you're out shopping for a vehicle and price is a concern, then the Malibu is the way to go. So congratulations to all the manufacturers. It was such a close competition.